Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. The mystery deepening along our local beaches as more packages of cocaine washing up. The latest bundles came ashore along Fort Morgan Road, possibly on court and privateer court. Of the 35 found so far, all but two carry the same type of identifying numbers and lettering. Mother and daughter Shannon and Haley Lunsford were there on Fort Morgan when one of the packages washed up. Their theory is that either a boat capsized out in the Gulf or maybe somebody was scared that they would get caught and they threw it overboard. It's just our theory, what we come up with. Uh, who knows, you know? Yeah, it was very surprising to actually see something of that nature kind of, you know, wash up while you're down here enjoying your time. Gulf Shores Police and Baldwin County Sheriff deputies have stepped up patrols along the beaches. The cocaine collected has been turned over to U.S. Customs. Authorities want to remind you if you find one of these packages on the beach, don't move it, call police. And then if you can, keep an eye on it until officers arrive. Now to the latest in the vaccine rollout. Health leaders say the demand for the vaccines continues to dwindle across the country. The latest data from the CDC shows that large gaps in the rates of vaccinations. Officials say the Northeast is far outpacing the South. Vermont taking the top spot right now for vaccinating roughly 64% of its population. The CDC says that Mississippi coming in last place with at least 32% of its population vaccinated. They say Alabama and Louisiana are following closely behind with less than 40%. The disproportionate inoculations have health officials concerned, though, that the virus will not be contained. Getting vaccinated is the fastest and best and easiest way for everybody to get back to what I would call normal. The CDC says that upwards of 160 million people, about 48 percent of the U.S. population, have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. And almost 127 million people are now fully vaccinated. That's about 38% of the population. If you want or still need to get a COVID-19 vaccine, more clinics are happening in our area today. Now you can get a Pfizer vaccine today at the Newburn Health Center. That's from 9 this morning until 3.30 this afternoon. And then again on Monday, the same hours. Remember now, Pfizer's vaccine is approved for those 12 and older. And Diagnostic and Medical Clinic will provide some 400 doses of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine to those 18 and older today. It's happening at the Northside Clinic located on Shell Street in Saraland. This clinic will run from 8.30 this morning until noon. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. And once again, we've got another wind advisory that's been issued across the southern portion of the Gulf Coast for anyone along and south of Interstate 10, as we are expecting another day of harsh winds, as we're still going to be caught in between two pressure systems, a low out in Texas and a high pressure center to the east of us. Now the high is what's going to keep us dry. We're expecting rain chances to be pretty much zero today, but all of the active weather remains across parts of Louisiana. Louisiana and west to Texas, and that's going to be the trend for the next couple of days. Drier weather on the Gulf Coast and we turn hotter. We'll start to see the wind speeds finally beginning to die down a bit by tomorrow. What about tropical weather activity? Something we haven't had to talk about in a very long time, but now is the season where that's going to start to come back. We do have an area of disturbance that has an 80% chance of becoming Anna. It would be subtropical. It would be near Bermuda. And then that low that has been in Houston that's been producing the rain and storms in Louisiana, it could move out into the Gulf waters, but the chance of it actually developing very low, only at 20%. So we're heading into the season where we'll have to start monitoring these tropical disturbances in the Atlantic and the Gulf waters, as well as the Caribbean. Now for today, the weather going to be dry and windy. As we head into toward this weekend, the winds die down. What about chances of rain? It doesn't look like we're going to be seeing any of that in the long term, but our temperatures will be heating up. Let's go through the future cast for the next 24 hours. We'll have periodic clouds and not much in the way of rain chances. Any chance of rain will stay very low and will be very light. That'll be the case for today, tonight, and as we push forward into your Saturday morning. Here's a glimpse at how the next seven days are going to stack up for you. The highs will be in the mid 80s today and tomorrow. We're up to the 90 degree marker for Monday and Tuesday mornings 
temps will consistently stay in the mid to upper 60s from Saturday morning all the way to next Thursday. Now we'll keep you up to date on your weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.